Hello, YouTube. We have a confession. We've been hiding something from you guys. If you follow Diana on TikTok, you already will have some idea of what we're about to explain. Because we like to be more detailed with our content on YouTube, it just takes a little bit more time to put together. But the wait is over. We are about to do this really, really crazy thing. This is a day that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Okay, calm down, Diana. I'm so excited. I am really, very excited. Okay. Normally I'm the one that calms you down, but I'm also this excited. So no one's gonna calm us down. Nobody's gonna calm us down. <laughs> Behind me is a hotel. This version of a hotel, it's actually a restaurant. We would never forget because it literally changed our lives. Hand-drawn sketch in chalk on a piece of wood. And we placed our deposit based on that. So we deserve whatever we're getting. So stay tuned because this is just going to get crazier and crazier. Two years ago, both of us purchased a land right here in Eldoret. There's our shamba. Oh no, this is a shamba. Oh, it looks nice. For the last two years, it sat there. Until now. Finally, we decided the time was right to start making something of it. We stayed in Nairobi for two months. While we were in Nairobi, we were exploring nearby cities. We had two beautiful trips to Naivasha, and both of them gave us incredible inspiration for how to build our place. Confined by a US-based idea of what a dwelling is supposed to look like, we were boxing ourselves in. Our two trips to Naivasha opened our minds, helped us escape the box that we had thought ourselves into. Just a trip that was meant to be going to Mount Longanut for a hike turned into a very big inspiration we will never forget because it literally changed our lives. Combining the aesthetics and practicality of what we saw at the Lima House with the experience of the safari tents that we had come to love from our different stays in Kenya, we had our idea. We take those elements and we assemble them with our own flair. We had to find a way to make this happen. We are in the right place and the right time to do what we need to do. In one of the evenings while we were in Nairobi, we wanted to go by Nyama at a butchery. So we took a walk, a stroll, we didn't know anywhere to get. And one of my fans from TikTok actually saw me and she was like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I live in Gong Road. And I was like, I'm looking for Nyama, a good place to buy Nyama. She's like, you know what? I need to show you where I buy Nyama. And while we were there, Aitan does not like to stay in one place. So Aitan started going roaming around. And mind you, this is like 7.30 in the evening. Aitan goes and finds a place that sells tent. This is in a dark alley off of Gong Road behind this butchery. And so she was not taking it seriously that this was an actual place that could make tents. Turned out it was a real tent place. The process had begun. Today we're taking a short walk away from our apartment because we are going to see our tent and we have no idea what to expect. I'm excited either way, but we've had some miscommunications with the person who we custom ordered this tent from. The size has already changed from what we originally talked about. There may not be a roof and there may be a roof that's just missing something that it typically has. We don't know what we're about to walk into, and so it's exciting. We did this on the cheap. We did not do this the fancy or expensive way, even by tent standards. So we're going to be fine with this no matter what happens. We will find a way to make it an amazing situation, but it might be a little bit interesting on the way. See, normally when you custom order anything, even on a smaller scale than this, you would get a drawing, you would get some kind of hard specifications and you would be able to see on paper in writing what it is that you're paying for. We got a hand-drawn sketch in chalk on a piece of wood and we placed our deposit based on that. So we deserve whatever we're getting. What do you think we're gonna get? I think it's gonna be so Do you think it's gonna have a ceiling at all? Or do you think well, it's just gonna be? From what I talked to him on the phone, he said, "There's nothing. Nothing's gonna be there. Nothing's said, gonna be." He said there. the tents cannot be used if there's no mabati on top. Oh, he actually said it like that. You're thinking no roof. Uh, no roof. I'm thinking there's some chance it'll have no roof. There's some chance it will have something that's like not fully usable, or maybe it will be okay. Maybe it will just be like not 100% weatherproof. 
And that might be okay to get started with. This is just such a crazy project. Neither of us have ever undertaken anything of the sort. And we are being faithful to our trademark style of go as we go. Go as we go. Let's see where our is gonna take us. We will just figure it out. However it goes, we'll make it work. It looks like there's a top. This is the top. The front entrance will be here. This will be open, large entry doors. So that actually went really well. It went way better than we could have expected. We have a four meter by six meter tent, and that will be our bedroom. And it will go up against a fixed structure that will be the bathroom. Later in the week, we're gonna see the tent set up with the frames. They'll be finished fabricating the frames by then. We'll be able to see the thing assembled and we'll be able to walk inside. And that is going to be the next very exciting milestone. But this was one today. We're gonna wrap up this day by taking a nice walk to the Karen neighborhood and run a couple errands there. I'm glad that went well. We're gonna go back on Thursday to see how everything is turning out. By now you've probably figured out that we just can't leave well enough alone. Inspired by these unexpectedly positive results, our motivation snowballed. On our walk, we actually found this dealership. We started to fall in love with this early 1980s Land Cruiser. So remember the thing you told me that the coil comes on? They call this Choma. It's right here. A glow plug. You want a clutch? Yeah, I'm over there in the clutch. There we go. That sounds like a little battery. I'm hyper. Steam my man off. <laughs> it had so much character. The problem was, it was rough. It needed a lot of work, and the dealer absolutely would not come down on price. It wasn't a successful search that day, but we were already on a roll and we were already inspired and that Land Cruiser showed us that we knew what we wanted. So I started browsing Facebook and sending messages out in every single direction. We found one and Eitan showed it to me and I actually really liked it and I was like, this is so good to be true. To the point that we were like, let's just go see this car. <laughs> we're gonna go look at the car. You're gonna help us test it, okay? Oh. It seemed like it was too good to be true, and so we were trying to not be excited, even though we were not doing the best job of that. We are about to do this really, really crazy thing, and I am more excited than I've been in a really long time. Because- I'm excited than you. I am so excited. I am really, really, really excited. This is a day that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Okay, I'm done, Diana. I'm so excited. I am really, really very excited. Okay. Normally I'm the one that calms you down, but I'm also this excited. So no one's gonna calm us down. Nobody's gonna calm us down. We were sold. That was it right there. It was over. Never had a right hand drive car. Never had a car in a different country. It's also a big deal because it represents the next step of us building our lives and establishing our future here. It's an incredible thing to feel. So stay tuned because this is just gonna get crazier and crazier. Here it is. That's it for today, folks. There's more coming very soon. Thanks so much for watching and joining us on the beginning of this insane adventure. Do not forget to subscribe. Coming up next, you're gonna see how this crazy tent project evolved from something that was supposed to be very simple to something that spiraled wildly out of control. And also, what it took to get this nearly 30-year-old off-roader back in good enough mechanical condition to make a seven-hour drive. We may have completely lost our minds, and our lives will certainly never be the same. So you're definitely going to want to come along with us to see how this ends. Oh my god, that is our fence. This was not here before. I would go out. Oh, babe, I need to go out. Yeah.